For the identity design project, you're going to have to create your own website, and um, we're going to go over some considerations for that. You only have to create three pages, a home page, an about page, and a contact page for your site. Um, and we're going to go through a couple of different ways, or a couple of different um, companies that you can use to create your site. I use Squarespace for my website because it's pretty easy and it uh, always works and the integration options are great and, and kind of tested. One of my favorite things is that you can check how your design looks um, by clicking these three little buttons so you can switch from mobile to tablet to desktop. So if you only own a desktop, you can see how it's going to look on your phone without going any further. I find that really convenient. Um, Squarespace can be used for business, so you can set up uh, inventory and check your orders and customer reviews here, um, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. If you want to create a retail site for your project, that would be awesome and cool, but it's totally not required. Um, what you're going to usually spend your time in are the is the design area and the page area. You can change your logo image here in the design area. You can add a little um, favorite bar icon that shows up um, by the address bar and so on. Um, the other thing you're going to spend a lot of time looking for is the template. It can be really hard to find a good template that fits what you want to do and works for you. So if you hit preview, you can kind of see what the template looks like by default. Um, and how some of your content would change with it. Um, if you look at the works page here, um, it kind of doesn't look all that great. Um, so it's not a template that I would probably want to use myself. Um, but that doesn't mean that it wouldn't work for the, the type of content that you would have. If you want to end the preview, you just hit cancel. So it can be time consuming to find the correct template for you. So um, plan on spending a lot of time looking for that. Um, under that section, you probably won't really need to do that much else with it. Um, the other thing that you're going to do a good amount is, um, you know, change some settings. Um, you can change your domains, connected accounts, and email that way. Um, but the bulk of the work is going to be through the pages um, section. And they make it really easy because you see the back end at the front end and the front end at the same time. So everything that shows up in your main navigation bar up there um, is right there, and everything that shows up in the footer is under the footer, and anything unlinked is down at the bottom. So you can use the not linked area to kind of create everything. And you can see that if you make a sub page, it kind of shows up um, automatically uh, in a drop down menu in the menu. So um, you can use that not linked area to kind of test pages before you actually launch them so people can see them. So if we click on a particular page, let's take the about page, um, editing that is really easy. When you hover over it, you can um, edit a couple of things, the site title, sidebar content, and page content, um, if you do have a sidebar. So just by clicking anywhere, you can begin to, to type and retype and change text. By clicking on an image, you can edit an image. So that makes everything very direct and easy. And if you want to add content, you hit add block. And you can drag and drop the building blocks around. You can add images, galleries, videos, um, and so on, depending on how you want things to look. So it's very direct, very simple, and very easy to use. So that's why I use um, Squarespace because so much of the backend work is already done for you and you just have to pick the right template um, for your own use.